It's about time to give you an update on the upcoming AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT graphics card based on RDNA 3 architecture. In this video, I will tell you about the RX 7800 XT specifications, performance, release date and price. But first, cdkeyoffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Before I start talking about the specifications, I want to make one thing very clear. It has not been 100% confirmed that the graphics card I am talking about will indeed be named RX 7800 XT, although that is the most logical name for this particular GPU configuration. However, GPU makers don't always use logic to name their products. Just look at the RX 7900 XTX, which in my opinion should have been called RX 7900 XT instead. Sometimes product names are created purely to push a certain marketing strategy. In case of RX 7900 XTX, the name is used to project a sense of extra premium branding, while in reality the graphics card kinda sucks and comes nowhere near Nvidia's RTX 4090 in terms of performance. If we take a look at the previous generation, there was no RX 6900 XTX, and the 6900 XT was close to the RTX 3090 in terms of performance. So yeah, that XTX naming is not very logical, is it? But it is absolutely within the company's right to name their products whatever they want. Anyway, for simplicity's sake, I will call this GPU RX 7800 XT in this video. The RX 7800 XT will use the cutdown version of a 5 nanometer Navi 31 GPU. The same GPU can be found in the RX 7900 series graphics cards. The 7800 XT features 70 compute units, 64 megabytes of infinity cache, 16 gigabytes of memory, and 256 bit bus. TDP is currently unknown, but you can expect it to be between 260 and 280 watts. Fun fact, this GPU configuration already exists. It is featured in AMD's Pro W7800 Professional Graphics Card. Igor's lab used the Pro W7800 to simulate the RX 7800 XT performance in 9 games using various resolutions. The results look very close to what I expect to see from an RDNA 3 GPU with 70 compute units. On average, you should expect the RX 7800 XT performance to be comparable to the RX 6900 XT at 1080p and 1440p resolution and slightly better at 4K resolution. The red bar, marked as RX 7800 XT simulated, corresponds to the benchmarked Radeon Pro W7800 with half the memory. The orange bar, marked as RX 7800 XT calculated, was subsequently extrapolated based on the efficiency of an RX 7900 XT. It is worth mentioning that the Pro W7800 is not designed with gaming workloads in mind, and even the calculated results may differ from the real RX 7800 XT performance. We may see slightly better results when the RX 7800 XT launches with proper drivers, but don't expect any major performance increase. In my own minimum to maximum performance calculation, the RX 7800 XT does not exceed the RX 6950 XT even in the best case scenario. That is an interesting perspective when we take its price into consideration. The RX 7800 XT will most likely cost around $600 or more. This brings up the question, is it even worth waiting for the RX 7800 XT if you can get this level of performance with an RX 6950 XT right now for around $630? After all, the 6950 XT also comes with 16GB of memory. Its only downside is the power consumption. The 6950 XT has a 335 Watt TDP, while the 7800 XT is expected to have a 260 to 280 Watts TDP. But let's be honest, that is not such a huge difference. 
By the way, rumor has it that AMD is almost sold out of the Navi 21 GPUs, which are used to make the RX 6950 XT. The company had a massive oversupply of Navi 21 since crypto miners stopped buying graphics cards last year and demand dropped significantly, leaving AMD with lots of unsold last gen GPUs to this day. That is the reason why the RX 6000 series graphics cards were selling with such a big discount for the past several months, and why the RX 7800 XT is taking so long to launch. So, if you do want to get an RX 6950 XT instead of waiting for the RX 7800 XT, then grab it while you still can. Personally, I think that the RX 7800 XT is not worth the wait. It is yet another underwhelming product about to join the rest of the underwhelming generation of the RX 7000 and RTX 40 series graphics cards. These graphics cards are the main reason why PC sales are so low this year. Most other PC components are actually priced very well. The SSDs are super cheap right now. The CPUs are not far behind. The DDR5 memory is also fairly priced. And the motherboard prices are okay. AMD and Nvidia are shooting themselves in the foot by not pricing the new graphics cards competitively enough to encourage adequate PC sales. Now let's talk about the release date. AMD's partners expect the RX 7800 XT to launch by the end of September this year. The only thing holding back the 7800 XT launch is the presence of the RX 6900 XT and 6950 XT cards on the market. Once they are gone, the RX 7800 XT must take their place. So we could see an earlier launch if the previous generation card supplies sell out quicker than expected. I will update you on the exact release date in a future video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss it. And if you enjoyed this video, then reward it with a like. It is the best way to thank me for the work I do. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.